In this episode of Private Lessons, Golf Pass coach Chris Como works with J.R. Smith, a two-time NBA champion, and now a member of the North Carolina A&T golf team. JR, man. What's hey, going on? Thanks, for, thanks for doing this. Absolutely. Appreciate you having me. Yeah, absolutely. I didn't know much about Chris Como. Uh, my agent hit me up and told me he's an amazing guy who works with a lot of great guys. And uh, he said he'll, he can really help my game. And, um, you know, going into it, I'm always willing to learn and, and trying to know as much knowledge about this game because everybody else has so much and I have so little being in, you know, playing in a short amount of time span. You're on quite the crazy sort of like golf journey. Yeah. Um, obviously, an incredible basketball player. You've won two championships. And then you're like, I want to play competitive golf I want to play college yeah. golf so tell me a little bit about kind of like what you're doing right now and like where, where your game's at where would you say um my game is uh it's streaky right now okay it's streaky um when I'm when my driver's playing well um then obviously it's easier to score but uh, I took my pride out of it a long time ago and just started hitting three woods or long two irons or something like that and um but I, I feel really good I feel confident uh, we got this fall season coming up, so uh, just trying to qualify for every tournament and uh, hopefully help my team win some. Okay, cool. Let us um, let me see you hit some shots. Uh -huh. I'm going to bring, bring uh, Ryan Ennis. He's a coach from Dallas who helps me out with a bunch of stuff, so he's going to kind of almost like assist in the lesson. Okay. So we'll film you, we'll look at it, and then see kind of what changes we might want to make. All right, okay? sounds good. Go. Now I'll just keep asking you questions because I, I want to get in your head. I want to know what your experience is as a golfer as best as possible. Okay. And how long have you been um, how long have you been playing for now? Uh, 13 years now. I'm just trying to get as much information as possible. I obviously know a bit of his journey, um, his history as a basketball player and playing collegiate golf now. But on this front end, just really kind of getting a sense of what his goals are, um, what's some kind of big picture stuff about his game, what sort of shot shape he wants to hit, what misses he doesn't want to see, um, things that he's worked on, kind of how he perceives a swing, just to really kind of, again, get myself as connected as possible to him so that when we're working on things, I can try to figure out the best way to communicate to him. Are there any typical um, misses that you have? Um, like, well, my irons are typically, and my miss is kind of a cut. Okay, so when you miss it, it's a bit more of a cut left, I mean yeah. cut to the right. And you're saying in general, you'd like to learn how to hit a bit of a draw. Yeah. Do you have any like contact misses, like fat or thin or anything like that? Um, more fat than thin. More fat, okay, yeah. cool. All right, let's keep hitting some. Let's grab some of these. Nice. Pretty solid. It's looking good. You're swinging it today. Swing here today, right? Yeah. It will be that day. <laughs> <laughs> Makes it hard to make any changes when you're flushing it. But that's also part of the reality. It's like So, so much of this with a better player is is finding the right windows to work on stuff. Like yeah. I'm just not the type of person to jump in there and be like, you got to do this, you got to change that, yada, 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 yada. To me, it's, try, it's trying to be like thoughtful of it, understanding a person's schedule. You said that you got the fall season coming up. Yeah. So, you know, typically I would say this is a great window to go on more of a game development phase. Like all the stuff you talk about, working on your yardages, things like that. Um, and then saying, if we were to make any swing changes, let's find a window in the season. Uh, maybe it's like between, you know, between fall and spring, or maybe it's at the end of next spring, and then you have the whole summer yeah. to really work on it, right? right? Let's talk about it, create a game plan, put it on hold for a minute, yeah. go through a phase you're more game development focused, and then let's say next spring, if you want to hit it hard, we can start the start the summer off with like you know the game plan in place and really kind of. You know I won two championships, right? Yeah. Pretty competitive. <laughs> You're not going to just sit here and tell me that and then we're going to work on it later. I'm pretty. I'm going to work on it tomorrow. 
I, I got your best interest at heart, man. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> I'm opening up I'm Pandora's box. <laughs> exactly, man. I'm too competitive for that, man. Now, now, I'm, now, I, now I feel like I got to bite my tongue. <laughs> 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 I like that though. Oh, this is uh, great. I'm like in a tweener right now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm a tweaker for sure, so. All right. Um, all right, so I want you to look at your swing, okay? Okay. Let's take a look at this. And, you know, again, especially when I'm first starting to get to know someone, I really kind of want to know, like, like, what's in their head? How do they see their golf swing? So you tell me if there's anything in here that sort of you see or that you're kind of working on, because I know you've got... You know, you've worked on it before. Yeah, getting this club higher on my takeaway. Okay. I feel like it's too far behind me at this point. Okay. And I still got a little com coming over the top. Okay. But I don't know how it gets into that spot. Like, it feels like it, I don't know. Obviously, like, feel isn't real. Mm. And it feels like I'm coming I'm dropping it down in this slot, but it's still looking from here with my hands. It's still like that little, that small coming, you Kinda know, over it. Over it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. And then let's look at the face on. It looks a little back in my stance. The back in your stance, okay. And my hips didn't stay back. Didn't stay back. Okay. Yeah. So you feel like you slid too far forward? Yeah. So you're saying? Okay. I would like to see it get shallower in transition, a little bit of that kind of over move, mm -hmm. um, try to get rid of that eventually. And then at impact, there's this this look like there's just really like no kind of lag, the club is getting thrown out, and it's a bit sort of copy in that lead wrist through the mm -hmm. ball. Um, you know, some of them are a little bit better than other ones, but it's got that kind of almost copy lead wrist through the shot. Yeah. And there's just they're almost trying. like no real release, no real kind of like a rotation of the form. Like they're trying to scoop it up. Yeah, yep. exactly. So it's got this look of like it's thrown out here mm -hmm. and scoopy through the ball. So let's let's play with trying to get this club uh, a little shallower, see if we can get a feel for that. Let's do it. Okay. All right, so JR, so I would say like the biggest, this is just kind of like a common, th like a general theme right now, okay? So I want you to start to feel like your right arm is almost like more throwing a ball. Right now, it's almost like you're pushing it from the top. Okay. Okay. So. So. Yeah, almost like where your right arm would feel like it's leading a bit more. Yeah. Good. Um, can you film this from face on? So we're gonna do a couple together. Okay. Okay. I'm, go ahead. And set up to uh, set up to an imaginary ball. You're not, you're not gonna hit this right now. Okay. So you go make a little swing. And go. Oops. Do it again. Good. Really let it extend forward. Good. So I'm just putting a little bit of pressure in your trail arm to get that right arm to almost act like it's throwing a ball a little bit. Okay. Okay. So can we do a down line? So don't hit it. We're doing some practice swings. Good. And then what's going to happen is you go to the top for me. As, I, as you're feeling like this right arm is working more like this way, this is softer, the club head can feel like it works back. So right now it's like you push forward with the right arm, the club head goes this way. Right. Sort of the opposite. Okay. Good. Go all the way through. Okay, let's see this. Huh? There's various on there. Okay, JR, so take a look. Oops. So now this, see how that club wants to shallow a ton right there? Yeah. That would be a lot shallower. And then at impact, that right arm working better is actually to get your hands much more forward at impact. Mm. Okay, so to me, we gotta get the right arm working better. Now, the only problem is is that scoopy we talked about. You get this right arm better, but this still stays scoopy, that face is gonna be too open. So we gotta do some stuff to feel like that face gets closed a bit, okay? Okay. Okay, so, let me see this real quick. I'm gonna put this on here. I'm actually, it's just like a little training aid. I'm gonna flip it upside down. And basically what I want you to do is, you're gonna take your grip, oops, oh, I messed up. I'll put it on backwards actually. 
Okay. So what I want you to do is, I want you to feel like you're gonna put some pressure on it this way, and you're gonna actually start to really kind of turn the face down mm. a little bit. Okay? okay. So just do it with your left hand for a second. And just feel this. I'm gonna do it with you. Uh, take your right hand off. Go to the top. Okay. So as you come down, it's gonna feel like you're putting some pressure there, and then that's impact. Mm. Can you feel this, Ryan? So good. And then put pressure there. Okay. Okay. So now do it with your do it with your right hand on there. Yeah, good. 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 One more time. Do it with me. Slow. Let's go to the top. Go to the top. Okay, good. You're gonna come down. And then see how it's behind your hands there? And again, this is working more that way. Mm. Can you feel that? Yeah. Okay, good. And everything in general, turn with me to the fall through. It's gonna feel much more extended. Okay? Yeah, good. Tell me what you feel. Awkward. Awkward, yeah. Um, trying to feel the pressure into here. Is it on the back as well, on, on, on the way back? Uh, not necessarily. I want you to feel more. I think you make a really there? nice downswing. OK. I mean, I'm sorry. Take away? Yeah. I okay. think you make a really nice backswing and take away in general. And then through the ball, you just you lose it. You would lose that pressure. OK. So it's so, only on the down. Correct. It's, it's kind of through the ball. It's just, yeah, just keeping it through the ball, some of this, just some of that through the ball. Good. Okay. Cool. Can we film that? Let's do a couple of those. You feel it, and then I'm. Let's just see what, how that starts out, okay? Mm -hmm. And then if we need to push harder, we'll push harder. Okay. That ball is drawn. Definitely is. I'm sorry? It definitely is. How does that feel? Feels really good. Look at that. It's solid, man. How does that feel? Oof. Night and day difference, it feels like. Yeah, that's like. solid. Better better trajectory. I right. feel it more coming through the ball. Okay, what do you I mean? Like, my, I feel my wrist getting through the ball, I feel like other than that cupping yeah. type situation you were talking about. Yeah. Yeah, I it's feel got like, like it's more penetrating. 100%, yeah. It's got like kind of more of a hit on it. Yeah. Ball flight's a little bit, like you just said, more penetrating, and it's got a bit of that, that draw shape to it. Yeah. Those look nice. Can I see this? Okay, so just so you can see these. Across it. Yeah, that was a little bit. Okay, so watch this. So that is now way shallower. So before that shaft was coming over it. Yeah. That's out and actually now coming on a really nice kind of play, more or less. Yeah. Yeah, a lot better. It was good. I like that. Yeah, good. Really nice. Um, I'm coachable. You are co <laughs> Are you like? Are you an athlete? Have you played any sports before? I've, uh, a few. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, you seem pretty coordinated. <laughs> He's obviously a world class athlete. So like, his connection to his body is just unbelievable. Like he can feel things and make changes, and 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 that's sometimes where a person if they're trying to make changes and they don't quite have that connection, you have to take a window of time of how do you really sort of try to stimulate that coordination so they can get more connected to their body that in turn will allow them to make some of those changes. Right now we just wanna go big picture shape, go to the top with just a little bit of motion, good right arm, left wrist, and then now extend to the fall through. Good, really nice. It's hard for me to get all the way up to your fall through. <laughs> it's all good, it's all good. I'll tell you one thing, it feels really 
different already. Yeah. That, let's see how this goes. Okay. Oh. That was good with the scoopy. right arm. What'd you say? That's that cuppy. It is, exactly. God. But that's great. No, look, the, the ability that you could feel it right away is like freaking such a big part of it right now. If you didn't know what that was, then to be like, ah, you know, you're not quite connected to it yeah. in terms of in your body. Perfect, right away, you diagnose it spot on. Oh, man. Give it another go. And that's the whole goal. Of, like, if I can help you become your own best teacher, then I've done my job. That's all right. Stay with it. In fact, there should be a certain percentage of the shots that you hit not good, because it means you're really pushing the movement. Ah, hell yeah. Perfect. Beautiful. That felt like the best shot all day. It was. And the, honestly, the swing before that was pretty much just as good. It's just it's so different. Your brain didn't quite know where the ball was. But the motion was great. Like you were so committed to the movement, and that's why you make that swing, even though you topped it. It's like awesome. Good job. I'd rather you make that swing than one that's the old motion. If we're in this phase of trying to make a change, right? Right, absolutely. I'd rather you make that swing where you top it than the old motion that's hit kind of good, but just the old motion. Right. And then you followed it up with like perfect. I felt really good. For early lessons, yeah. It's like give him a picture of what you want him to do, move the swing a little bit forward but then also hopefully keep things matched up in a way that they hit some nice shots and they, they get very motivated by the strike and all that. And then you kind of, you're, you're tapping into, into a little bit of that psychology aspect, the motivation aspect of it. So you've made a pretty significant, we'll call it like a big movement change, overall swing change. Now we gotta do like little kind of fine two minutes, okay? So, okay. so go ahead, set up to it. Now you're just kind of swinging, getting a little thin. I want you to straighten your knees just a little bit and just maybe a little bit more bent over that way. Okay, good. Just a little setup change. Just feel a little bit more bent over. Okay, good. And we're gonna do another one, go to the top. You do all the stuff we've done with the arms. Come down, and come down. As you come down, I want you to feel almost like your chest is just a little bit more down in it. Okay. Subtle stuff now. There you go. There you go. So again, I'm trying to like walk that tightrope of, of giving you things that I think will create a meaningful change, but not overwhelming you. So this is kind of what I was referring to before. As it gets shallow, we're gonna have to make the body motion change a little bit to, to match up with it. Mm -hmm. But the way I would wanna train that for the long run is, is we would do a lot of stuff in the gym kind of compartmentalize it, say, okay, this is what I want you to do with the body, really train it in there. Almost like um, uh, Mr. Miyagi from Karate Kid, where you yeah. go like wax on, you know, they like, do that a lot. 100%. And then eventually, you know, I punch you and you block me and kick my <laughs> ass. Or, or, but like, uh, um, but right now, just to get the impact a little bit better, like very subtle, kind of stay down. Yeah. I would give you like more of that in detail in the gym, but right now just sort of a very subtle aspect of that to get the impact a little bit better. Less knees, more bent. Dude, <laughs> you're so good, man. This is incredible. So like, when I tell you this is incredible, this is incredible. It's so solid. I translated it, a lot of it into basketball. So when I shoot a shot and I, when I see it hit nothing but net and it goes through the rim and swish, that's what a flush is like to me. That compression, that confidence that you put into yourself that you're hitting the shot and you actually complete that. It's a very rare feeling. Okay, so that's kind of all I would want to bite off right now. Again, it's like, you know, it's like, how do you make a good change? Not do too much though, right. give you something to work on. But then you'll kind of have a spot where you're like, okay, I, I want to take this to the course. I want to compete with it. How do I sort of do that, right? right? And this is where I would encourage you to pick, you know, late in the day, go out by yourself, go onto a course when it's not crowded and almost treat the course like this crazy elaborate driving range. Like be focused on the motion. It, yeah. it, we oftentimes go range and then super sort of polarized and we go on the course and we're just thinking target and we forget about the swing changes we're making and then everything just reverts back, which is fine when you have to do that. 
But if you're trying to take those swing changes to the course, yeah. that intermediary of going on the course and treating the course almost like a driving range where you're actually working on your swing on the course, but with targets and trouble and all that, yeah. that's part of how you can bridge that range game to that eventual tournament game. Okay. So I would do some sessions like that. Definitely. I'm extremely confident uh, right now. Um, obviously, it changes within days because your golf game changes so much. Ooh. I'm going to get his number and I'm going to continuously to work on it because that feeling is like an addiction. I got to have it. All right. I'm going to end you on that one, man. That one's so good, dude. <laughs> Appreciate it, yeah, man. Bro, that was Thank awesome. You. Absolutely. That was good.